Hey Kickstarter, my name is Pat and this is the Kinkajou. It's a bottle cutter named after a small animal from South America with big teeth. As far as bottle cutters go, there are plenty on the market, but they're all big, bulky, and they're not very interesting to look at. So I decided to take a new spin at it and design something that was smaller, easy to use, easy to store, and just a little bit more interesting. Here's an example of, uh, so here's a Smirnoff bottle, and here's the same Smirnoff bottle that I've cut to shorter. Um, so it makes a great tumbler glass, it's a great conversation piece. Absolute Vodka makes gorgeous bottles, all the different sizes, here's a bigger one. Uh, you can make bases out of them, or a size like this. It's really limitless. Say you have an anniversary or a very special event and you, you normally share a super expensive bottle of wine, you might want to keep that bottle, but what are you going to do with the bottle? Well, you do something like this, cut it up, you can decorate it, you can keep it around the house for, forever, uh, and it's just a reminder of whatever that event was. So the Kinkajou um, evolved from this. This was my first idea. Made it out of wood, but quickly discovered that working out of wood, not so easy. I moved up to something a little bit more substantial. Built it out of uh, plexiglass with uh, eight Lego wheels, and now I felt, okay, well this might work. After a bit of playing with this, I thought I was ready to, to do something in CAD. So I built a three-dimensional model, sent it off to a prototyping firm, and a couple days later in the mail, they sent me this. From there, I put my Lego wheels back in, put my bolt, I put my cutter on, and that was that. I cut over 100 bottles with this thing now, and it's still going strong. So cutting a bottle is a three-step process. You want to score the bottle, separate the bottle, finish the bottle. Even though this is called a bottle cutter, it actually doesn't cut the bottle. It just scores the bottle. Like cutting all glass, you just want to score it and create a fracture or a weak point in the, the, the structure of the glass. The second step is separating the bottle. Now, I've seen all sorts of things on the internet on how to separate these things. Some people use torches, lighters. I've seen people with a string and they light it on fire. I've tried them all, but the easiest and most consistent method I found is to simply use hot water. So the third step is you want to finish this edge. Easily done with uh, a piece of sandpaper. Now this is special sandpaper. It's got a silicone carbide or you can also use a uh, aluminum oxide on it. Easily found at your hardware store so it's not a specialty sandpaper. So people always often ask me why do I do things like this. And I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. I've had several companies and they've typically been technology related. On the internet a lot of these bits are not, it's not really tangible, not something you put in your hands. So with this concept here it was really exciting to do something that I could take from this to this and actually take it to market and build a prototype and just the whole experience. It's been, uh, it's been a great process. It's, it's very energizing and I'm looking forward to bringing it to completion. So that's Kinkajou. The design is finished and I'm ready to take it to the next stage, but I need your help. I hope you'll join me by becoming a backer and sharing this video. Thanks.